morning, good morning. Father, 早安。早安。
Somebody sent a message through chat. Hi. Hi. Hello, Erin. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Mm. Yeah. Hello, Father King. Hi, good morning. Uh, can you... Uh, uh, do the opening remarks and prayer. I am in a tight class now. Oh, ang hirap eh. Baka mahuli ako ng teacher. <laughs> ano ka? Nagdadalawa ka? Ano ka? <laughs> sige, Pwede. sige. Wala bang iba dito, pare? Yeah, yeah ikaw lang. I-manage mo lang, father. Hmm, sige. A pleasant Saturday morning to everyone in Zoomen's SJCS YouTube channel. On behalf of the Elementary Parents Auxiliary Group, welcome to our first online art workshop. Today is a time for us to relax and unwind from a tiring and stressful week. We are very fortunate to have with us our very own SJCS mommy artist, Ms. Kteya Ongpo who will teach us some techniques on how to do botanical line drawing and zendangle art. We are grateful that she was able to squeeze her busy time for us. Before we begin, may we request everyone to please prepare your materials. You will need a printed copy of the Dove Silhouette, which we have shared through Class Viber, Facebook, and Schoology. Your colorful pens, pencils or markers, erasers, and some extra paper for drills. We would like to acknowledge the presence of the following people who were with us in Zoom. Our Reverend Fathers, Father Aquino and Father Belamide, Beloved Head Teachers, Assistant Head Teachers, and our Elementary PAG representatives. Hello and good morning to all. We would like to thank our priest administrators, especially our school director, Father Roland Aquino, for the support that he has extended to us on behalf of St. Jude Catholic School. A big shout out to our amazing LMPAG president, Mrs. Michelle Yvonne Chon, for initiating and leading this project. Thank you also to Mr. Kenneth Raiko and Mr. Frederick Makapulay for all the marketing communications and technical assistance. To Mrs. Magapong, Dr. Myra Ching, Chuang Chura, and all our hardworking LMPAG representatives, thank you for helping us disseminate all the invites to our students, parents, and teachers. Thank you also to Titus for sponsoring the prizes. If you have seen one of our posters, just post your artwork on the FB group Kids Art, Kids Art Creations using the hashtag SJCSPagTheaDoodle. Ten winners will be chosen to receive Titus Colors pens. Now, may we request our Father Director, Reverend Father Roland Aquino, to lead the opening prayer and remarks. Hello, uh, good morning. This is Father King. Uh, Father Aquino, Father Roland Rocky is uh, having a class, so ako na lang daw. So, 
anyway, uh, let us uh, begin as we always do for every activity because we are a Catholic school to pray, you know, dedicate our activity to the Lord for his guidance and protection. But today is Saturday. Usually we dedicate, it, dedicate this day to Mama Mary. So we will ask her to, to intercede for us, to pray for us, to help us with our prayers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I forgot to say the sign of the cross, but God would understand that. <laughs> anyway, so my dear kids, my dear parents, uh, thank you for uh, joining this activity today. And we are thankful to the PAG, uh, elementary PAG for organizing this, following the example of the early childhood development. Uh, I think uh, after that uh, exam week, this is a very meaningful way of relaxing, you know, doing something productive that just watching games, doing uh, playing games or whatever. Uh, you know, uh, this is a, an art workshop. It is also the design. It seems is also a two, two, uh, uh, a two-part series also, huh? like the ECD. They have a three-part series, and it would be about, uh, well, you know, what's that? Bio bi biology, something, <laughs> doodling, uh, and things like that. And we are thankful for our parent, uh, Mrs. Taya Po, for for. Uh, his generosity and his availability uh, in uh, agreeing to uh, to preside over this this activity. Uh, so uh, I think uh, no need to talk too much too long. Uh, I would uh, let us immediately start with this uh, activity, and I hope you enjoy and learn something in today's. Uh, uh, art workshop. So again, welcome and good morning to everybody. Thank you, Father King. For our welcome remarks, let us all listen to our super mom, Ellen, Ellen Pack President, Mrs. Michelle Yvonne Chon. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Um, uh, Reverend Fathers, Dr. Malihan, Head Teachers, my fellow PAG President Beth Colin Chu from ECB and Attorney Irene Mauricio from High School, SJC SAA President Johnny C, SJC S Teachers, Staff, Fellow PAG Reps, Fellow President, Students, Alumni, and Friends. Good morning. Uh, it is my pleasure to welcome everyone to our first online art workshop. I am grateful to have with us our very talented Judenite mommy artist, Mrs. Thea Ongpo, who will be sharing with us her expertise on botanical line drawing and zentangle art. It is a very interesting art technique since we will only be using simple materials like our colorful pens, pencils, and markers. Um, this pandemic, which has been ongoing for more than a year now, surely created a great psychological impact on kids, parents, and teachers alike. Here is hoping today's art workshop will give not only some diversion, but also fun and stress relief for all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ati Yvonne. To introduce our guest artist, may we call on our super efficient secretary, Mrs. Julian Tan. Good morning, everyone. Our esteemed artist is a graduate of the La Salle University, Manila, with a degree in computer science. She has worked as a web developer and a SAP consultant of Hewlett Packard before becoming a full-time mom of two student nights. Her art journey started in 2016 when she did calligraphy. The year after, which was 2017, became a memorable year when she started using watercolor and hosting workshops. Then, in 2018, her first international workshop in Bali, Indonesia was held. 
From there on, she has worked with a lot of brands like MAC Cosmetics, FitFlop Philippines, Charles & Keith, Tokyo Finds, Sharpie, and Titus Philippines to name a few. This pandemic opened up more new opportunities for our artists who started offering online workshops for kids and adults. She has also held her very first virtual international workshop with Tanji audiences from USA, India, Singapore, and Philippines. She has since been juggling her love for art and motherhood. She finds doodling and painting as ways to keep her hands and mind busy, which in turn helps her to relax from the chaos of parenting. Without further ado, let us all welcome Ms. Leia Ong. Hi. Good morning, June the Nights. Uh, morning. Father, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Yeah. So, good morning, Father King, Father Aquino, beloved head teachers, um, assistant head teachers, teachers, the lovely CAD community, the parents and students, uh, Tatya Hao. Uh, I'm so excited that today I get to teach people close to home and heart. So, before anything else, thank you for being here. I really appreciate your time. Um, to spend it here with me, it's a sign of support for me. And yeah, I greatly appreciate that. So my kids, they said, no, please don't ever mention our names, but I will say it anyway. So I'm the mom, I'm the mom of Shatina po of grade 4D and Nash of uh, grade 2F. So thank you to my mommy friends. Hello, my my uh, kids, friends, and classmates, and to also uh, also to my loyal workshop students. Hello to everyone who are tuned in right now, also in YouTube. So, uh, I have no formal training in art. Uh, what I teach usually came from arts spent studying and trying by myself, or I learned from watching videos or reading books, also attending workshops. Um, my father and brothers uh, are the ones who took up uh, fine arts, but design and creativity has always been my passion. Uh, so I'm happy that my hobby developed into a career. So, yeah. So today we will be learning about botanical line drawing and drawing techniques. So we've chosen the silhouette of the dove. So this is uh, in dedication of 500 years of Christianity here in the Philippines. So wow, 500 years, right? And also it symbolizes peace and also something like mm, a, a truce or like I don't want to fight anymore. So it also symbolizes the, I think it's also related to the biblical story of Noah and the flood. So it tells us that the dove returning to the ark with a freshly plucked olive leaf that symbolizes that um, it, it reveals that there's proof of land. So it's the end of the flood. So I hope that we get our um, olive leaf soon with with, the, with our current situation, with the pandemic going on. So let's begin. So I hope you will finish the workshop until the end and join the group photo and also be able to upload your work in the uh, and be able to give an entry for <laughs> the prizes that Titus will be giving us today. All right. I'm just gonna switch my camera to my demo camera. Hold on. Can you hear me? So um if you if you have any questions or if I'm going too fast, just feel free to interrupt me or type it in the chat box. And uh, I'll be able to, to those who are here in Zoom, I'll be able to wait for you and um, or explain further if you have any questions. So the dove silhouette, we can set it aside for now. We, we will do some drills. And hopefully, if you have any folder or anything that you can use, Underneath your paper, that would be helpful. Okay, so uh, you can use your pencil or your pen right away for for this drill. For younger ones who are from ECB, you can just listen and uh, no need to write down this down. 
So I will tell you if you're if we are ready to start with the dove silhouette. So first we will we will be discussing the tools. So the tools are really simple. We will be using pens, ball pens, any pens that you have. I'm gonna use Titus uh, Doodle Fine and also the gel pen, quick dry gel pen. Uh, you can use fine liners. Uh, those are also good for botanical line drawings. And any smooth paper. So don't use rough paper. Um, it's better to use something smooth like any bond paper will do. Okay, so we're going to start with pen and ink techniques. So this will be uh, shading techniques. So I will be discussing some terms. So I'll be discussing some terms. You don't need to memorize this one because all throughout the workshop we will, I'll keep on repeating it and eventually you will understand what I'm saying. So for example, this is a ball and there's a light uh, on the left side and the right side will be shadowed. So the first shading technique that we will, so this is the shadowed part, right? The right side. The first shading technique that I will be discussing is stippling. So this is stippling. Stippling is just doing some dots. And this is the shadowed part. So there, stippling. Okay, so those are just dots. Next technique I'll be discussing will be hatching. So hatching is just hash, hatch lines, hatch. So these are just lines, so like that. Next, Technique is called cross hatching. Okay, cross hatching will be similar to hatching, but this time you'll cross it out. So it's like a net. There are other shading techniques, but these three are the ones that we will mainly use for today. Okay, so stippling, it's dots. Hatching will be lines. Um, flick, you flick it up like this or flick it down. And then cross hatch will be hatching with uh, cross lines over it. Okay. So next part, um, so we will be doing some Zentangle drills. So small boxes only, no need to be, no need that it be perfect. So any small boxes. And first, we are doing Zentangles, but I'm just gonna show you some um, value scale of drawing, which can be part of the Zentangle drills as well. So value scale, so this one is about value scale. Value scale will be about um, how light and how dark the drawing is. So, or uh, how deep the shadows are or how dark the shadows are. So for example, stippling, 
the dots are far apart. So this box is not that dark and this, the textures are like this one. Next, we're gonna do more dots that are closer together. So the scale, the value scale of this box is much more darker than the previous one. And of course, the darkest part, I guess you know the, the you get the idea. If you put the dark the dots uh, closer together, it will be much darker. So the scale value of this box is the darkest among the three. Okay. So I hope everyone is um, able to catch up or doing it correctly because these are all really easy and the terms are just uh, really easy to follow, okay? So some Zentangle art that uh, we will try would be some, since we're doing stippling, let's do some random circles. So some are shaded like this one, some are not. And some are big and some are small. Another texture that we can also do is, how about some triangles like this one? Again, various size. So we're doing this one so that you can apply it later. You can choose what uh, Zentangle design that you like to apply. Another one is fairly easy, some hash lines like this. I'll add three more circles. Let's do more Zentangle designs that we can apply. If you have questions, just type in the chat box or unmute yourself. I welcome in questions. So another design is something like a weave design. So three lines like this one, diagonally, another lines on the side. And then let's do a vertical line like this. Another diagonal like this one. Let's repeat some of the diagonals and then some horizontal lines. So it's a random uh, weave of lines. All good. Next, we can also do something spiral, spiral like this one, and then something like this, some circular um, effect around that spiral. Another one over here, 
and then some circles. Next, we can also do something like a dot and then two curves and then another dot with circular curve, another one like this. So this might give um, some unusual effect to people seeing these circles. So, but let's add it to our texture design. And here, let's make, let's fill up the whole box. You can also create your own Zentangle doodle design if you like later on. So these are just some ideas that we can apply later. Okay, so it's almost 9.40. I guess we can start with our Dove silhouette. Any questions regarding our drills? If you have any questions and you, you want to talk to me, it's uh, I am easy to chat and be contacted over Instagram. <laughs> okay, so these are the drills and let's begin with our Dove silhouette. We will be doing um, botanical line drawing, which is about flowers. And then we will apply uh, Zentangle art uh, inside. So these are some of my... These are some of my works from before. So this was used using Sharpie. During workshop, we do mermaids. Also, these are hummingbirds. Workshop demo, also a unicorn. And then also, this is the one that I made for today. And also this one. So it's uh, you can use colorful pens. And you can also use pure black ball pen. So this one is a demo that I did with Tanji. The hand is something that you can give to someone that you love so you can trace their hand and then doodle inside it and then give it as a gift right you can also use a the letters uh silhouette so for example uh letter s or letter j so you can also give that as a gift so customized gifts are the best right so i'll be using green and black uh, you can use colorful ones. Uh, I will not be discussing what colors to use. So uh, if I can use just black, so I don't have to think about the colors. That's one challenge if you're using a colorful pens. But uh, my suggestion would be if you want to use colorful pens, um, you can follow the colors of the rainbow. So you can start with red, with, then move on to orange, then yellow. Keep the greens at the latter part. So you can use that for the Zentangle part, okay? Here, I'm gonna use greens for my flowers and then I'm gonna use black for my Zentangle, okay? So get your uh, pens ready and your dove silhouette. We will start. And also, um, don't be afraid to use the pen. It's okay. Uh, some students before they use pencils, but uh, they have to use the pen over it, so it's uh, double work, right? So use the pens right away. It's okay. Don't be afraid because you can retry it again. Okay, you can print as many dub silhouettes silhouette as you want, and then post everything in the FB group so you have more entries, more chances of winning. <laughs> By the way, these are the pens. Titus already sent the prizes to me. So this will be the 10 prizes that will be given away. Okay. 
But more than anything, more than the price, I hope the takeaway for this workshop is still the line drawing. All right, so let's begin. I'm, I'm going to start with an anemone flower here at the belly of the dove. So let's start. I'm going to focus my camera. So let's start with stippling. So stipple, all a circular stipple closer to the belly. No need to be perfect circle because you can keep on stippling and adjust the whole circle. Also, if you draw something bigger, the faster that you fill up the whole thing and you'll be finished faster. If you draw small, you have to fill up much more longer. So let's try to do the a little bigger than usual, okay? Because some students, they usually draw small. So try to draw the right size so that uh, we will be able to finish on time and you'll be able to finish the finish the finished product on uh, the same as everyone else. So these are stippling. Just keep on stippling and then stipple some more on the left side. So the shadow part is here at the left. Okay. Then I'm going to do some hash lines going up like the rays of the sun. I'm going to turn my paper around so that my hash lines will be pointing to the right direction. Okay, next part is we're gonna draw some pollen greens at the end of the tip of those hash lines. So small circles, this is not stippling, it's more small pollen green circles. So now it looks like some kind of firework or something else. And you can add some stippling in between those hash lines. Just a few. There are some fine liners that you can use like ultra fine, medium and bold. So you can use different sizes of uh, pens. If you're into uh, line drawing, this is a paper made. There's also different brands that you can use as fine liners. Uh, okay, done with the pollen greens. Next part is you can use a pencil to yes, Victoria. You can draw something on your own, but uh, it's also better if you follow along. So uh, we can all do the botanical lines, and then later on, I'll let you do the zentangles on your own. Okay. So here you can draw a uh, guide, a pencil guide that later on you can erase. This is a guide how far my petals will be. So just a half curve, half circle curve. So the grade two students are studying <laughs> the 
geometric shape. So this is draw a half circle curve like this one. And we can erase that later. And let's do our very first petal. I'm going to draw it here, closer to the wings. And it's going to be not a perfect line, curve like that. You can draw a little cr uh, crooked like this one. And then it, you go back to the bud. So this guide, the pencil guide, will be a guide how far each petal will be. I'm going to turn my paper around a little and then I'm going to draw another petal coming out from there. And it can be an underlapping petal. So these two will connect. So I usually turn my paper around so that I draw it in, a, in such a way that it's going to the 12 o'clock direction. But when I turn my paper back, it's going to be in an 8 o'clock direction. Okay. So here, I'm going to draw another one. I'm going to out use the outline on the side and then over here. And I'm going to turn my paper back. This will be another petal over here, but this time it's an underlapping pe petal. So it starts here beside that petal, and I'm going to trace over the belly of the dog. In between these two petals, another petal coming out. Turning my paper again. In between these two petals, another under petal. So it's underneath. So we started with the foreground petals, and then in between those petals will be the background petals. So the, they are back petals. Now we can erase our guide. If you're using gel pens, be careful. If, Make sure that it's a quick dry gel pen. It dries quickly and it will not smudge. If you're done. I'm currently looking at the Zoom gallery view. You can show it to me. Very nice, Alexa. Good job. Good job, Juliana. China, very good. China, very nice. Stacy, looking good. Irina, very nice. Okay. Very good, Isabella. Very nice, Marie. You can make the petals uh, a little bigger, but it looks nice as well. Okay. So, moving on, let's do some shadows on the petal. So, um, you can do uh, a line, one line over here, a little curving. And then another line over here. So two lines like that. Also at the tip of the petal, another line like this one. 
and another line like that. So medyo curving siya, a little curving, curving in such a way that the petal is I'm going to switch my pen to a ball pen, which is much more thinner. And then I'm going to do some hash lines. So following that two lines, that heavy two lines, I'm doing some hash lines like this one, which is a lot more thinner. And the curves... You can use the same pen. I'm just using a different one just to show you some thin lines going on and do some hash lines like this one. So the hash lines are random lines that doesn't have to be all the same. It can be some are short, some are long. And flick it out, flick it up, flick it down, like parang checking, checking your correct answers. <laughs> so you can... Do hash lines like this one. More hash lines, the darker it will be, right? And then do the same to all the petals. Okay? If you get the idea. So, parang you add two lines, two or three lines like this one. So, like that. And then hash lines from the bottom. Also hash lines from the top. Turn your paper so that when you do the hash lines, it's uh, pointing to correct direction, not parang major side sideways yung lines. So here I'm gonna do some three or four lines like this one. I'm using the darker pen and then. I'm switching to a lighter pen to make those small thin lines. You're not really coloring it, but more on adding shadows. So those are the shadow techniques that we uh, we learned from the drill. Here, adding three or four lines like this. And then do random hash lines. Let me know in the chat if you're done before we move on to our uh, next flower. Very good, Alexa. I like your color. It's pink and purple. So, Elaine, sorry if I was too fast. It's going to be the same for all petals. So, again, I'll discuss it. Uh, you have to do some long lines and then do some hash lines in between, okay? So the hash lines can be anything, any random uh, flicking of lines, okay? Nice, Juliana. I like your colors too. Very nice, China. You 
Shobe doing it too, China? Yes. Okay, great. Nice colors, Isabella. Very good. Maya, looking good. Victoria looks good too. Okay? If you're not yet done, let me know in the chat so we can wait for you. So next flower that we will be doing is a sunflower. So the sunflower um, has different kind of petal. So once you're done with this workshop, I hope you'll be able to go out and observe the nature, how the petals are for different flowers and how they look like and how you can apply it in botanical line drawing. So anemone has wide petals like this one, but the sunflower, it's more pointy, okay? And it's more a little narrow. So, we will be doing the sunflower, okay? Okay, Elaine, you're done. Let us know. So, for the next one, Let's do it here over in the wings. So let's make our sunflower big so that the Zentangle doodle will be, uh, will fill up the whole part of the wings, okay? Do a very big sunflower. You can trace uh, a guide to make it big. So let's begin. I'm gonna use my yellow green pen. Later on, I'm gonna add black over it. So let's start with something in the middle, um, a spiral circle like this one, a scribble. From there, you can use a pencil as a guide but I will go ahead and do a stippling around that circle. So a little crooked, it's okay, because I will just fix the shape by stippling some more. That's a lot of stippling because I really have to fix the shape. So there you fix the circular shape. It's okay if it's too thick as long as you fix the shape in a circular shape that you really like.
next part. Let's do some cross hatch, cross hatching. So this might look like the sunflower seeds, but let's do a cross hatching line like this one. So I'm also flicking, flicking it out. So not really a heavy line, more on hatch cross hatching line, uh, major light lang, but still lines. Okay, so don't do heavy lines. More on your check mark, flick it out, flick it up, flick it out like this one. So it's also how you handle your pen when you do the lines, make it light. I'm gonna zoom out my camera. So this one, it's a really quite big compared to our anemone a while ago. It's okay if it's too near the dots. You can, it's, there's no right or wrong naman here. So just keep on doing the, just add more, just add the cross hatch so that it has uh, something in, in the middle. Okay. It's okay, Elaine, this is your first time. And really, it's my more than uh, more than 50 times already of drawing. So first time is really not that easy. So it's, yeah, it's going to be very slow for you. But you can rewatch in YouTube so you can see it again. And I hope you will be able to catch up with the sunflower. Okay. So, are we ready for the sunflower petals? So, the sunflower petals, it's more like a pointy petal. So, again, I'm going to do uh, a pointy one over here. And I'm going to turn my paper again. And then... Do something half here. This time it's not, there's a gap in between petals. You can also add a guide, but since we are here on the wing, so some petals will be uh, not complete like this one. So it's okay, just uh, go ahead and be brave and even if we don't have a guide, let's go ahead and do the petals. Here, I'm going to do another one, which is another incomplete petal. So, I invisible, meron akong invisible petal over here that uh, I estimated that it will come out right here. This time, I think we will be able to create complete petal so here another one and i'm also turning my paper around so that it will be pointing to the right clock direction so 12 o'clock or 11 o'clock like that and then another one over here so these are uh Front petals again, foreground petals. And then another one over here. So 
same drill. So we will be, so this is the uh, uh, dove drawing. Same thing that we're going to do. We're going to do the back petals again. So it's in between this front petals. So it comes out right here. Uh, here, another petal coming out. Okay, this one, another petal coming out on this side, another one. Make sure that the distance is almost the same as the front petal. And turning my paper around again, another one over here. Okay, I hope you get the idea that uh, we started with the front petal and in between the under petals, in between those front petals. The same thing, we will be doing some hash lines for shadows. So for the sunflower, like this one, you can see that the hash lines for the front petals are lighter, so less hash line. Back petals, much more uh, lines, which is darker. Okay, so we have light and dark and we will achieve that using the hash lines. Okay, so the, the value scale of the front petals are less hash lines to make it lighter. Value scale for the back petals are more hash lines to make it darker. Okay. Hold on, Victoria, let me check. Can you move it on the side? Yes, it looks good. Very nice. Wow, Alexa, very good. It's okay, Elaine. Even, even if it's different. Very nice, China. You can use black. The yellow might be too light. You can uh, do the hash lines with black. Zarina, very good. Isabella, very nice. So let's begin with our hash lines. Okay, I guess everybody's ready with the hash lines. So I'm gonna do less hash lines again at the front petal. So to make it light. So all the front petal, I'm gonna do it first. This is a front petal, so. It's usually not easy at first, but eventually on our uh, third or fourth botanical flower, it's gonna be, you get the idea already, right? And also the second or third time that you try this out, it's gonna be, much easier than the first one. Okay. And back, petal, back petals, let's do more hash lines to make it darker. So just flick it out. Turn your paper around so that the, even the hash lines, you're doing it in the correct direction. I hope you had a full breakfast today because at the end of the workshop, you'll probably feel tired. But of course, when you're being creative, you're, you, you will feel that way. So let's have a healthy uh, lunch after this one. Okay, I'm going to add a 
few more on the front petals, few more hash lines. But you can see the difference for the back and uh, front petals. Okay. <laughs> yes, quickly. Tired but happy. Okay. So I'm going to use my gel pen to make this one darker. You can hear the scratching of the pens. So you can see, um, after doing those hash lines, the petal has, um, parang there's a curve that you can see. It's like it's like higher or floating like that, right? So you can see the difference um, between drawing it uh, plainly, and then when adding textures like the ink techniques like that. Alexa, good. Very nice. Very nice, Isabella. Good job, China. You allowed the my call. Excuse me, Andy. It's China, not China. Ah, okay, China. <laughs> Caitlin, very nice. During free time, um, you can, Gabriel, very good. I like your colors. During free time, if you're not doing anything, um, take a break from your gadgets, then just do the, okay? Also, if you plan to give something out to friends and family, it's also a nice way to give it as a, as a gift. Okay, it's 10.15. I'm sorry. I think we're moving so slow. Let's do our next third flower. So let's go to the eye of the dove. This is just a simple flower. It's just a circle. So here at the eye part, make a circle like this one. And then a dot in the middle. And do some stippling all around it. Okay, then let's do a petal coming out like this one. So it's, let's do a petal going to the beak like this one. Okay, then petal all around that stippled circle, okay? So this will be um, incomplete petals because it's like, it's underneath the anemone. Okay, and of course, applying the hash lines.
can I move on? You can apply the hash lines uh, later because uh, you can do the details later on. So let's move on to our tail part. Okay. For the tail part, let's do a camellia flower. So here, I hope everybody's going to follow here. So let's do a circle near the end of the tail. And then let's do a three petal curve like this one. And then we're going to connect two petals together. Okay? So this is petal one and petal two. I'm going to connect them like this. Petal two and petal three. I'm going to connect them as well. Petal one and petal three will be connected. The three new connections, we will connect them again. Okay. This one will get connected as well. And this will be connected like this. Okay. I hope slowly you get the idea. New petals that are the connectors, we will connect. Again, connect. It might be, might make you look nakakalito, but uh, try to connect them as much as you can. If you if you connect it with a different petal, it's okay. Okay, don't worry about it. There's no right and wrong, and the in reality, it's not really that perfect. Okay. So another connection over here and another one over here. And I'm going to fill out most part of the tail of the dog. And then Dito sa um, sharp part of the dog, try to outline it na lang so that we know that these are the end tail part of the dog. Here, let's do another connection. And then for the hash lines, it's just simple hash lines. You can do some simple lines like this. And you can do some two lines like this one. So random lines lang. Doesn't have to do a heavy hash lines. That what we're doing since a while ago. So slowly we are filling up the whole dog and we will do a last flower here, a daisy flower. 
and then we will start doing our zentangle uh, textures in between. Okay. All good? Okay, Gabriel said yes. Let's move on to the uh, back wing of the dub. So here, let's do a daisy. Let's create a dot in the middle. And some stippling all around. I'll focus my camera. And after those stippling, let's do some circular uh, seeds and two layers of it. So, um, small circular pollen grains. From here, we're gonna do a long narrow petal. So let's do going out like this one. But in reality, the petal would be something like this, like that one, okay? This is just uh, outlining one of the end part of the wing. So another petal coming out like this one, okay? You can turn your paper around again. These are long, narrow petals that are closer together. And in between, you can add petals like this. And of course, again, we will do some hash lines, okay? I'm done. Let me see. Teacher. Wow, Royce. That looks amazing. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. Good job, huh? So hold on and wait for the others. Okay, Royce? So now that we are almost done with our flowers, I'm just going to teach you how to draw the leaves, okay? So one style of leaf is doing a Y effect like this one, 
Look, teacher, this is also my brother, big brother. Wow, very nice. My small brother. <laughs> wow, so the three of you are done. Very good, huh? So let's wait for the others, okay? Thanks, Royce. So for the leaves, let's do a Y branch like this one. This will be our guide. So I'm going to do a leaf here at the anemone end part, at the edge of it. And then another extra branch over here. Okay, from here you can draw uh, the shape of the leaf, something uh, pointy, and the belly of the leaf is a little wide, and then it goes back like this one, parang teardrop curve. And then here there's some space, I'm going to add some more. Okay, you can draw some veins inside the leaf, so it still a V or a Y uh, guide because if you do an inverted V the leaf is facing downwards this one the V is the, the leaf is facing upwards okay here I can add another Y guide this time I'm gonna draw something circle Another extra branch here. This one, another here. So you can draw some simple branches or some simple uh, feeler flowers like this one. Okay. So you get the idea of the leaves. You can keep on adding more leaves and you don't need to follow me from here on. You can do whatever you like. So usually in my workshop, I give, uh, I, do, I, I teach the techniques and also they have to follow some parts, but some, part they, some parts they can do whatever they like as long as it's part of the lesson. So from here, you can apply whatever Zen angle design you like to add you can follow me along and you can add more hash lines for the other parts and i hope um, we will be able to finish everything before 10 45 so let's have 15 minutes to do the zen tangle okay so here on this very big side of the wing, I'm going to add the weave lines that we, do, we did a while ago, the Zentangle drills. So I'm going to use my black gel pen. I'm going to do the weave lines. If you use different colors, you can use um, your black line, black pens for the Zentangle part, or you can use green for the uh, fill out the extra parts for the leaves. So here, these are full weave parts. Also, Elaine, you know, um, the art, uh, what I like about art is that it's something that makes me happy. So um, when I'm not feeling good and I like to uh, draw something, so even if it's not that nice, but something that will make me feel good, it's what I and why I enjoy doing art. So, it's not really easy at first. So, it, you have to keep on trying. It's hours and hours of studying for me. I have to watch videos. I have to attend workshops. So, there. 
this one, this workshop is a good start, diba? You you tried it, you did your best, and then you try to recreate it again. So once you try it for the second time, you can see the difference. You'll be able to see ah, uh, the first time it's like this one, but for the second time, I was able to do it much faster or easier. And when also when I teach something to my students, I tried I tried to do it. I recreate it around two to three times before I teach it. So it's not something that happens right away. It's and as I always say to my students, it, it's not something like you study overnight and then the following day you ace the exam. It's not something like that. It's like honing your skills or like um farming about when you plant something you have to be patient you have to take care of it and then you will see it grow so it's something like that too when you do art you have to hone your skills so uh attend workshops like this one so let's say thank you to our bag community for organizing this and also for giving excitement for our workshop, the Thai to Philippines for agreeing to sponsor prizes as well. Okay. Next wing, I'm gonna add. Uh, so I'm done with the weave. This part, I'm gonna use a different color. I'm gonna add some kind of a wing effect. So we're um, petal sha. So we did not do we did not do this in the drill, but we can apply it over here, something like that. In here, I'm gonna do some circle and then this weird circle, zentangle, dark, like. And also, if you're if you have small spaces, you can use stippling to fill out the remaining white parts. Okay. My kids will say um, this is a weird looking part, the circular things. <laughs> And it's also funny that some moms would you uh, brought out all the pens that haven't been used. So I hope the pens are still have still have inks and are still writing perfectly. So here I'm gonna fill it out with some random circles and some stippling. You can make your zen tangles big so that if you're feeling a little tired already, you can fill it out much faster. You can use the triangles, the circles, and then stipple in between. Those are the small circles. So... I hope you're doing uh, your own unique design right now. And then I'm gonna do the spiral, the spiral one. So for those who are tuning in at YouTube, I hope 
uh, you're still there and somehow finalizing your work. So here, this, this is the spiral design. You can make it big because it's smaller, makes it a lot more work. Make it make this design bigger so you can fill it up easily. And then here in between, I'm going to do some stippling. I made a line like this one, so it will look like a leaf. And lastly, on my last part is, let me see, some Something like this one. So some filler flowers that I'm gonna do some stippling in between. And then I know this was printed, so the pencil line are still there. But if you do, if you try to trace the dog again, and if you want to recreate it, uh, you can erase the pencil lines after. And the effect will be nice because the, only the silhouette will appear. Okay. So I hope the others are already finalizing their work. We have five more minutes before we do our group photo. I hope you uh, you learn a lot. You enjoyed the workshop for today, and very nice, Rina. Almost done. So let's talk about colors. You can use cool colors together, blue, green, purple. So if you look at the color wheel, they are situated uh, closer together. You can also use warm colors together, orange, red, and yellow. So those are the safe colors that you can use together. You can also use, uh, like for example, I use greens today, but they are in different hues. And I added black just to do the dark part. And if you want to do rainbows, you can also do that. Wow, Gabriel, very nice. Erin, very good. I like it. Sheena, very nice. I like it too. Good job. Wow, Audrey, so colorful. Good job. Very good, Maxine. I hope you like your work. That's a more important thing today that is that you enjoyed 
and you really like your work. Okay, don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, art is about is more on you enjoy doing and creating. Isabella, very nice, so colorful too. Others are still working. Uh, let's wait two more minutes, maybe. Almost, Roger. Let's hold on, okay? Let's wait uh, one or two more minutes. Reese. Very nice. I like it. Good job. Very good. Nice, Elaine. I, I'm very happy to hear that from you. Okay. I hope teachers were also able to do it. Mommies also did a, a work as an entry for the giveaway. And I hope you will, you will be able to apply this in your projects in school. So let's have a group photo. Even if you're not yet done, it's okay. You can continue after. So I hope you'll be able to share your screen. And let's do a quick group photo and then please stay for uh, a few announcements from uh, the PAD community. Wow, Mommy Abigail, <laughs> so nice. <laughs> I love it, good job. Okay, so first screen, I have three screens right now. Let's have our uh, group shot. Hold on, hold it, because I'm gonna do three screens of uh, screenshots, okay? So hold your work beside your face so we can see your face. Don't be shy. Erin, can you sh hold it beside your face? Yeah. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, smile. Wait. Next screen, one, two, three, and smile. Data, one, two, three, smile. And last screen, one, two, three, smile. Sorry, last screen. able to capture everyone. Okay. All right. Good job, everyone. Um, I'll give the floor to Jehan. Uh, just to end my uh, audio, thank you, um, Yvonne, Julian, and especially to Jehan for inviting me, the SJCS community, and also uh, Titus for sponsoring the prizes. So... Thank you. I am printing screen myself. <laughs> Enjoying. Very thank, nice. you. thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mommy Thea, for this very interesting art session. Seriously, through this workshop, we were able to use our colorful pens, which we have really kept for some time. Parang bitin kami. Anyways, if we want to learn more about the other art techniques. Mommy Thea will have an upcoming workshop beginning March 27, 10 a.m. via Zoom, entitled Inspiring Creativity with Art. She will teach calligraphy, drawing, and watercolor techniques for six Saturdays to kids from 8 to 12 years old. You know, just watching the wow. featured ad being looked a while ago, I'm really inspired, Oliva. She will also be doing a demo on SM Art Fest this May 29, 3 p.m. Abstract Art 
marbling. Mm, kakaiba. Purchase a kit with Tokyo Finds under SM Stationery to register. You may, you may also follow Mommy Thea on her Instagram account, thea.ong, or Facebook page, Craft Designed by Thea. For the next part of our program, may we present our Certificate of Appreciation to Mrs. Thea Ong. Oh, Sir Kenneth, can you please share the certificate? Kenneth, no, no. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Allow me to read the citation. SJCS Elementary Paris Auxiliary Group and St. Jude Catholic School present this certificate of appreciation to Thea Ong Po for sharing her expertise to the Judenite community as guest artist in the art workshop. Botanical Line Drawing and Zentangle Art via Zoom Live and SJCS YouTube channel, given this 20th of March in the Year of the Lord, 2021. Signed, Reverend Father Roland Aquino, SVD School Director, Reverend Father Paulino Belamide, SVD School Principal, Mrs. Dina Pagapong, Head Teacher, Basic Education Elementary Department, Dr. Myra Ching, Head Teacher, Chinese Elementary Department, Mrs. Michelle Yvonne Sean, President, Elementary Hi, Yeah. Now, may we request um, our beloved Father Ferdi Bahau to say our closing remarks and lead the closing prayer. Hello, good morning. Can you hear, Father? Can you hear me? Good morning, yes, Father. Yes. Hi, okay. yes, we can, Father. Good morning. Uh -huh. Okay, lang. anyway. Uh, thank you so much for Again, to Miss Thea for his for her expertise and her generous availability and time to share her talent. And I agree, you no, know, when she said that art makes her happy. Art makes us happy. You just can see the face of Miss Jehan now. She's very happy with, with her using her coloring pens. And I'm very happy to see that the parents are also with the kids. And to the kids also, thank you for tuning in to this program. We thank the Lord for the blessings of people, the blessings of our giftedness. In a way, art is also a mission. It's a missionary activity. It it reaches beyond borders. No? It, it, it appeals to so many people. Even if uh, people don't have artistic abilities, they will be inspired to see people coloring, drawing, and all these things. All these things. So again, congratulations to everyone. And we now invoke the Lord in gratitude for this beautiful morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Father, for the gifts of art. And through this gift, we're able to touch lives. We thank the people who share their talents. We thank the families who received this giftedness this morning. And we thank you for giving us the time to be with you through sharing and for your presence guiding us through the hours so that we'll be able to deepen also our appreciation for life, our appreciation for each other, especially in these difficult times. All this we pray, Father, in your name, in, this, in your Son, Jesus' name, who lives Amen. and with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the, Father, the, Son, the, Son, the Holy, Holy Spirit. spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father, for a deed again. You're welcome. Thank you. And don't forget to post your artwork on the FB Group Kids Art Creations using the hashtag SGCS Pantheon Doodle. And to Father King, Father Bahau, our head teachers, children, and teachers, Lao Shuiman, school personnel, PAG reps, all students, parents, alumni, families, and friends. Who are with us via Zoom and YouTube? Thank you for joining. We hope you had you all had fun. Good day. God bless and stay stay safe. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.
。谢谢 ，Thank you，Thank 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 you very much。Thank you very much，Thank you， 谢谢，谢谢 ，Our kids there，Thank you， 谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢